hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope that this video will reach you guys in great health and strength you have lots of love joy peace and happiness and all of the amazing and wonderful things that life has to offer so in today's video i will be showing you guys some shrimp alfredo pasta that i made i've been wanting it for some time now so i decided to make it and of course record it for you guys to see how i did it so here I am just opening up the shrimp that I picked up at um, BJ's and of course as per normal I am going to add my apple cider vinegar in there and let it sit for at least 10 minutes. And here I am showing you guys the type of pasta that I will be using which I picked up from my local drugstore. <laughs> what? My local grocery store? <laughs> So here I am adding the pasta to a pot of boiling water, which I did go ahead and add a pinch of salt in there. And I'm just gonna stir it up and cover it down and let that cook. And now I'm just rinsing out the apple cider from the shrimp. And I'm gonna go ahead and add half a lime um, in there and just let it sit for an additional five minutes. Because I like to use this the vinegar and lime whenever I'm dealing with seafood it helps to take out you know any type of rank smell okay now I'm washing the lime juice out and I'm gonna add my little seasonings and stuff on top of it starting with parsley leaves then I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon pepper and then some black pepper and adobo and just mix it all up together. So after the pasta is done cooking, I'm just going to strain it into this metal strainer and that's it for the pasta i had to do nothing else just let it sit there until i was ready for it and now i'm going to add some butter because i'm going to use butter to fry the shrimp up and i'm just swirling all, swirling it all over the pan to make sure the entire frying pan is saturated with butter and you know to make the shrimp nice and buttery and now that it's all melted I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic and for this I used seven seven garlics for this entire meal it's very garlicky so and garlic is actually good for you so I'm just stirring that up there and now I'm adding the shrimp to the butter and the garlic and I'm gonna cover that down and let that cook just adding some green seasoning or as we call it shallots some green peppers yellow pepper some bell peppers and just stirring it up and I'll cover it down to let it cook for an additional um, few minutes I can't remember specifically how long I let that cook and that's it I put that in a pan and separate it and now I'm um, preparing the sauce for the sauce the pasta sauce so I'm starting out with some butter and then I'm going to add the remainder of the garlic and let that saute a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the remainder of my seasonings my peppers and um, the green onion or shallot seasoning and I'll let that fry up a little bit until I add the Alfredo sauce So the alfredo sauce that I'm pouring into the pan is the ragu um, alfredo sauce and it, it says less fat on there. Thank God it was on sale. 
um, but I'm just pouring it into the pan and I'm adding the remainder of the seasons that I had left over to the sauce and I'm just stirring it and I did put it on a slow fire and now I'm adding the shrimps that I cooked um, before to the sauce and that's how it's looking now and now I'm going to go ahead and add the pasta. I ended up did not using all of the pasta so I put the remainder of it into the fridge. Um, and that's it for this video. This is how I made my shrimp pasta. Um, it came out really good. I like the fact that I didn't have to use much salt. It wasn't salty or anything. Oh, and I did add some um, cheese. I added some mozzarella shredded cheese on, on that and stir it up to make it a little bit more creamy and flavorful. And that's the end of the, the shrimp alfredo. So, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. And um, to my subscribers, my new subscribers, welcome to my channel. I do hope that you're enjoying my content. And I hope that you won't be strangers. Okay? Always remember that God loves you and I love you too. And I will see you in another video very soon. I don't know what it's going to be on, but look forward to another video from me. God bless you and your families, depending on when you are watching this. Bye-bye. Love you.